uh, congratulations on the film. Thank you. I know that you, since your tutorship at Disney, you've had two the two highest grossing animated films of all time, Frozen 2 and, and Frozen 1. Has that all that success of the Frozen movies kind of <laughs> kind of sunk in while you've while you've been there? Does it does it add any extra pressure or um I don't know if it ever will sink in. Maybe there's like a I, I always say there's like some sort of defense mechanism your your, your <laughs> brain does. Um I think you know and I think we put pressure on ourselves for everything we do. Mm. Every single project is full of unknowns. Um, we we didn't know Frozen would do what it did when we were creating it. We just struggled every day like we do to build the best characters to is this, are we are we making enough layers in every scene are we and, and I think what it all Frozen really you know, does for me is remind me that it we have to do that on every movie, and there's no there's no moment where um, I think we think we got it, you know. And and I think it's it's acknowledging that that it doesn't matter what success, it's every single film is its completely own challenge. And so I don't know. I think it's more that. Yeah. But then you never know what you can. You have to take these risks, and you never know um, what can come. This one obviously celebrates uh, 100 years of, of Disney, and I remember my kind of, I've seen Disney movies before, but this, the one that left indelible mark was listening to Robin Williams do The Genie yeah. in, in Aladdin. Do you remember when you were younger what the film was, or going to the cinema to see it, the one that well, maybe isn't your favorite, but the one that left kind of indelible <laughs> mark on you? Oh yeah, well, the, mine is definitely my favorite though, is Cinderella, because mm. I, I, I've told this story, but I was, I, I really struggled in middle school, and. Um, uh, no friends, being bullied, and and um, I would come home and put the VHS of Cinderella on. That's how old I am. It was VHS every day, and just because she was mistreated and she didn't let go of herself and found her way out, I I really had to put that on every day. So I owe her a lot. Yeah, yeah. I still own some VHSs. Do you still own your I Cinderella do, I, VHS? I do. I still oh, have Cinderella. Good. I have, I have um, Little Mermaid and Cinderella. There's something, yeah. <laughs> something so lovely about VHSs. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It's funny. Um, and with with this one, obviously, it has very unique challenges. But mm -hmm. the character of Star is a unique challenge, not just animation wise, but in terms of performance, because yeah. it's a silent character. As uh, Form was saying, it's kind of like pantomime in many ways, and yeah. that gives uh, Ariana's character a little bit more of a challenge in terms of she's yeah. not really speaking to anybody. So for you guys, when you put that in, was that one of your biggest challenges, kind of bringing that to life? Because it's such a specific. Yeah, it character. was interesting. It was, it, for me, as it was actually the opposite experience, that it was far more challenging when we first, we first had the idea that we'd love that her, she makes such a generous wish that the star answers, and that we knew, and, but what does that mean? And so star at first could talk, oh, I had all these wonderful philosophical things, that, ridiculous things star would say, star would change form, could take human form, and all of that just felt like this is star's movie, and, I, and we kept saying, you know, what is, the star represent, when you wish upon a star, you're looking for hope, that charge, and going, okay, star is hope, possibility, courage. Those things don't do the work for you or communicate, they are feelings. So as soon as we said, star doesn't talk, star is a light in the dark, literally, so star is just a little ball of light. I settled, actually, I, because I, because what it did is it put every challenge on Asha. It made this her film, it tells you, yeah, if it's your wish, no one can make it come true but you. But in the world, we also know there are helpers there along the way, and Star being that, and then ultimately helping Asha discover she is a helper, I think is, was just such a wonderful journey that I don't think I could have ever reconciled how to make them work if we didn't make Star this sort of s simple ball of those emotions. Yeah. And just finally, circling back to Frozen, obviously I've read Frozen Freeze in the works, now potentially a Frozen 4 <laughs> in the works, even though you haven't even started. For you as, a, as kind of the creative and all the rest of it, do you, do you prefer the unique pressures of doing original films or um, doing sequels? Because sequels is such, particularly when they're so successful, yeah. like the first two, there's obviously enormous pressure and to be fresh mm -hmm. and to bring something new to the table. Which one do you prefer? They're equally hard. There's no, I mean, but for completely different reasons. Mm -hmm. And I, I think, I think the nice thing for me though is I, having spent 10 years now with Frozen, I know those characters very well. I, I can, I can give notes differently as we're building the story. I know exactly what Anna or Elsa would actually do. Mm -hmm. So I can hold an accountability for the characters that has become more intuitive than when you're forming a character. And you know, Wish was a very unique film because we wanted to make an original fairy tale, but we're also doing an homage because this for us want, was 
like we said, our love letter. And in doing that, there were aspects of wish that um, we were taking it original, but we were also com from understanding certain tropes that we wanted to celebrate and then flip. So there was a very different experience with wish, but when I could ground wish in Asha, that, that sort of, you know, um, journey of that rising uh, uh, helper, I'll call her, you know, that then I would be okay. But so, so it's interesting because each one of these, the challenges are, uh, they're, they're just always the same. I mean, not the same, just equal. They're always equal challenges. Mm. Yeah. I wish you all the best for that. Thank you. Thank <laughs> Thanks you. so much for your time. Thank Pleasure you. talking to you. Love Cheers. You Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys. Hey you guys.